this is Kritika. Welcome back to my channel. It is 7.45 in the morning and I'm rushing to a Scheller Ambassador event. So all the first years coming into Scheller uh, for this August semester. We have a little event organized for the ones who are local and I am going to help with the registration and the signups and all that stuff. So 7.45 to 8.30 heading to Scheller right now. It is so early. I mean, I'm not a morning person basically, and I'm super tired, but I somehow got up already. I'm almost, um, you know, out of my apartment building, so I'm gonna head to Shuller and I'll see you guys there. So for this event, we had to wear our ambassador polos, so this. And like all the people who sign up to be an ambassador get this shirt when they sign up for it. So I got the girl version and there's guys version, whatever. And my name tag. Um, I haven't worn this in like so long. Um, but anyways, to all the Scheller students, incoming Scheller students who watch my vlogs, welcome to Scheller. We're so happy to have you here. So I'm back to my apartment. I was only responsible for the, for the setup of the registration and all that stuff. So that stuff is done with and I'm back. It's so early, it's only 8.30 and ugh, I don't know, I'm just so tired. But I'm going back home to my Alpharetta home, like my home home. This is an apartment, right? So yeah, it's, it's, it's so early right now. I am going to go pack up my stuff like I did majority of my packing last night, but then it's just like some stuff that's left. I'm going to pack, then I'm gonna walk to the train station, I have to take the train, and then my dad's gonna pick me up, and it's a whole process, so I'll be home by like 10-ish. I have a lot of stuff in my hand right now. Like I have this bag with my dirty laundry, and then I have a backpack and then I have all these things. Okay, I'm walking to the Marta station right now, which is like a five minute walk, so not too bad. Um, it's just really, really cool today. So, all right, I'm gonna head there and uh, I'll see you guys. All right guys, so I'm back home and I'm all dressed up in my Indian attire because today is Navratri. Actually, Navratri has been going on for eight days. Navratri started on April 2nd and then it's nine days. So today is the eighth day of Navratri. So we do something called as Kanjak, which is we give food to little girls and one boy. And then there's like a little thing we do. So my mom is making Halwa Puri Chole. Um, and I'll show you guys what it looks like and explain to you guys what that is uh, once I go back downstairs. So I came home and then I immediately got ready because I had to shower and stuff. I didn't shower in the morning because it was too cold. So I came home and I showered and all that stuff and I'm all ready. Um, I'm wearing this. Let me see if I can show you in the mirror in the back so you guys can kind of see. It's like this top, which was my mom's. And then I got it changed to like my size and then like this palazzo pants and just this dupatta. So I am going to go. I also wore some nice bangles and then earrings. So you guys can tell I love dressing up and like being fancy and all, especially Indian suits. You can do so much and there's so many different styles. So yeah, okay, I'm gonna go downstairs. I have to go give the food. My mom is getting everything ready. So 
we're struggling a bit to find people we can give this prasad to. Basically, we gotta find girls and we already have limited little girls in our community. And the ones we found are not home. So we're struggling because we have all this food and no one's home. We have one person who was home, so we gave it to them. Um, so my dad and me might go to the mandir, like the temple, and give the prasad there. Like the chole are basically chickpeas uh, with like Indian masalas and stuff. And then halwa is just like, like a sweet dish. And then puri is like, kind of like tortilla, like fried tortilla, but like it's made out of like wheat flour. I'm smelling all this food and I'm getting hungry. So maybe I'm gonna eat right now, maybe I'm not. Whatever I do, I will let you guys know. So we came to the Hanuman Mandir to give the prasad. So we're gonna go inside and give it in. You can leave it here. No, no onion garlic. They are too fast. Hello, Mama. Okay, so we're done giving the prasad to everyone or like the food and I opened the door right now to come outside and look, there's pollen on my hands, it's disgusting. I'm gonna go wash my hands. But we're done giving the prasad to everyone and now it's time for me to feast. I'm going to go and eat food myself. I just feel like it's been a really long day. Like I've been out since what, seven o'clock in the morning and like I've been up and like doing stuff. It randomly like flurried here. We were like, what? So weird because it's May, it's April, and we wouldn't expect us to get like flurries and stuff at this time. But anyways, we are where we are, and I'm gonna go get something comfortable to wear, like something cozy, like a sweater or something. It's really, really cold. I'm gonna go eat, and then I will talk to you guys. I always like dressing up, but then at the end of the day, once everything is done, I'm gonna go back to my comfortable clothes. My pajamas, my jeans, my shirt. Also, fun tip for those of you that don't know. This thing we wear on our suits, um, it's called like, you can say it's like a scarf, but we call it dupatta. And we have it um, with all our suits. So this right here, this is pink with like rhinestones and stuff, right? In India, these are sold as like a proper business. Like people will just sell dupattas and there are so many varieties, like different cloths, different styles, like different parts of India have different types of ways of making their scarves. Like I have different types. Like it's crazy because even the simplest of accessories in India are like, like fancied up and like high end. So whenever you go to India, it's like confusing because I like don't know what to shop for anymore because before I was like, okay, I bought a suit, I'm done. Now it's like lehengas and anarkalis, like different, uh, you know, outfit types and there's never enough shopping. So I'm going to India again in December and I'm just thinking like, I hope I don't buy more stuff because I already have so many clothes. Um, usually when people get ready, they also do like a little, it's called a bindi, like a little thing over here on your forehead. Um, I didn't do all that. I just like to wear my bangles and earrings and then my dupattas and uh, yeah, you guys can see I'm a mess, so I have all these outfits out. I could not decide what to wear, so clearly I'm never sure and I make a huge mess everywhere I go. So I gotta clean this up and then I have to put all this back and pack it up properly, so yeah, that's that. But the food was yummy and I really like this one. It's really pretty, it's like light, but I have different styles, which I will show you guys in other vlogs. Um, so you guys will see what I mean by the different styles and stuff, so yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go relax for a bit and then I'll talk to you guys. I just want to nap for 30 minutes and then I'll be all good to go. Alright guys, I'm back. It is very late right now. It is 9pm and here I am back. I actually slept, like I just passed out. I was talking to my mom and then she does this thing where she's like, oh just come and cozy with me. And I cozied with her and I was like, I'm not gonna sleep, right? Because I have to do comments. And I have to finish this vlog and I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna sleep. Like, I can't do that. I have so much work. And I pass out. It's like, this is so bad. And then I woke up at, I think, 5.30 and then I had chai and 
got some other work done with. I got a lot of comments done with. I still have a few left, but I'm taking a pause because I get so tired because I want to watch the videos and then I watch them and I get tired and I don't want to just watch to watch. Like I want to enjoy it. So I take breaks and I'm taking a break right now. And before I forget, I wanted to show you guys this coffee that I got, which I'm gonna make right here in front of you guys. Um, it's nine o'clock at night, yes, and I do have coffee at night, yes, because I'm up usually uh, till late. Uh, so I do have coffee like whenever I want. So I got some ice in here, and the coffee I'm talking about is this Javi Coffee Concentrate. So the way you make this Javi coffee is this is pure liquid concentrate of coffee. Um, you simply take one to two teaspoons of this microdose and mix it with your favorite liquid for a perfect cup of coffee. Um, you can, you should also refrigerate this after opening. Use within six weeks of opening um, because it is fresh coffee concentrate. It could go bad, but I've had this like three or four times already and it tastes like Starbucks and I'm not even kidding. Like. I think I got this maybe like three weeks ago and I haven't had Starbucks ever since. Unless I got like that free drink for my birthday. I will also add the link to Javi in the description box below. So please make sure to check it out. Um, they actually have a lot more other flavors. This is the one that I have, which is like the original coffee flavor. Let me make my coffee first. I'll show you how I make it. So you guys kind of understand how easy it is and how you can customize it, which is the best part. So I'll show you guys how I make it and how I like it. And maybe if you guys want to copy this, you guys can. So in here right now, I put some ice and then I added like maybe two teaspoons of milk and the rest, I'm going to add water. So now I got my water in here and I leave a little bit of space here um, because I don't want it to overflow. And then I have this salted caramel sugar-free syrup, which is just for flavoring. You don't have to add this in. This is optional. I just added in because I like caramel flavor. So you just need a little bit of this, very little. That's it, okay? And then you take your Javi concentrate and you need about two teaspoons. So I'm gonna guesstimate here, I think. This much is good enough. And then you see the color changing. They also give straws with this right over here. They actually give this packet, which has these, um, these two straws and they give like a straw cleaner so you get a lot of things with it and then you can just mix this in do it nicely because it is thick so it may settle down and see how it's changing color as you mix it it's now blended in and your coffee is ready all right, so here is my coffee. Also, feel free to add sugar if you guys want. I don't add sugar to this because the syrup I put in, the salted caramel syrup already has sugar. This is so good. Like, Javi coffee came in clutch because as a college student, you always look for like quick, quick tricks to like, you know, get your coffee in or whatever because of classes and the stress and brewing takes a while. I'm not a huge fan of like warm coffee. But regardless, I think you all should try Javi coffee. I think it's really neat to have. So if you guys do check it out, please let me know. Um, it's a very nice coffee and you guys should totally try it out. Um, and now I'm going to go back, do some of my work, and then I will talk to you guys in a few minutes. That's it guys for this vlog. I hope you guys like this vlog. It was just a full day of my routine. I honestly, I don't even know. This day has just been so much. I was in college and then I came here, did the whole Kanjak thing, went to the temple, came back, did some work, slept, woke up, and I've just been doing work now. So it is now 9.30, so I'm gonna sign off and I will meet you guys in my next video. Until then, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And don't forget to hit the bell notification for future updates. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!